Hey guys, first Army Sarge here today, and I'm going to do a video on my German World War One and World War Two items. Um, so first we'll start off here. This is a post-World War I uh, Reichswehr, I think it's called, shovel. It's that thing, that uh, that group that joined between World War II and World War One. Um, this My grandfather gave me this in 2009. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit because it was... The wood was all, and I just polished it or did some wood shine on it, and still got the iron cross on the side, as you can see. And my grandfather picked this up after the war. Uh, he found this because uh, he was in Dutch resistance, and he found this on the floor in Holland. He found it, so yeah. So here is my German GM30. I don't know what it's called. GM30 or GM38 gas mask. I'm thinking it's GM30, but. Um, this he also gave me in 2009. It's in really good condition, I guess, for almost a 60 year old gas mask. Uh, so you can put this in a while here. It's got all the markings still on the side. Three, uh, night, so September 9th, September 3rd, 1936. Still got all the things. It's in. I think it's made by Hour or something like that. But yeah, and then here, still on the inside, and still got some of the markings and stuff on the lenses. And then inside the uh, gas canister here, it is marked 1936, like the the filter on the gas mask. And then it has some other markings on the thing. And then I still got the anti-fog lenses in here. And um, I think all of mostly of all the carrying straps are on here, original. Yeah, so. Yeah, so it's actually I think it's GM30 gas masks, not GM38. But then here is a stamp, uh, Gross Deutsches Reich. I don't know, I think that's a German mountain trooper. But yeah, I got that at a flea market for like 50 cents, so... And here is a pair of German World War II subscription glasses. Um, it says Muskenbrill, which is not really correct. I think it's in the wrong case. Because Muskenbrill have a strap on the back, not lenses, but... These are, look, 1940 period. It's marked here. Yeah, so... And here is all my medals. Let's start off. I'm gonna put this in the light a little bit more so you guys can see it. Sorry about this. Alright, there we have. Let's we'll start off here. We have a little rusty condition German sports brand, uh, badge in bronze. Uh, here we have a World War I a Prussian uh, infantry regiment uh, pickle haub. Uh, cap top that they stick on their pickle hops. And here we, we have a Labor Day pen, dated 1938. And here we have a a uh, Hitler Youth General's shoulder tab. And on the back it still has its RZM tag. Here we have a War Merit cross with swords with its original ribbon and then here we have a tinny from it's really like holding German soldiers inside their houses they'd give it to them in the Galbaden section of Germany and here we have a Hitler supporters pin for the Hitler rallies in the uh, mid to early 30s and then here we have the uh, frozen meat medal the Osterfront 1941-1942 and here we have a Luftwaffe's uh, Luftwaffe's insignia and then here we have a railroads cap badge that they stick on their railroads hat and you've seen that before I guess let me move this back here alright and here we have a Hitler tinny, or 
These were released in 19, I think, 42 or 1941. They would come in a set. This is Adolf Hitler, and unfortunately it's a little chipped on the bottom, if you can see. Right there. But yeah. And then here are another things that my grandpa gave me. Uh, these are German World War I trenching knives, or cutlery knives. They're mostly marked Salingen, all of them. They're in kind of rough condition, as you can see from the blade and the blue on it. I don't really want to mess with them, so don't wreck them. A lot of them have different other markings. Here, let me show you on the lights here. Yeah, but these are a World War One. I. I think my grandfather's father used these during the war. And he also said he has a set of knives. I mean, forks, too. So he said he'd give them to me when I go back to Holland. Thinking next year. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. That's my collection of German World War I and World War II items. This is First Army Sergeant. I'll see you later.